He left the club with his girlfriend about midnight. It's the last time anybody saw him. What was it? Ice pick. Left it on the coffee table in the living room. Here I am on Vallejo Street, and right behind me here is Catherine Trammell's house. That's Sharon Stone's house from Basic Instinct. And she's a well-to-do author. She has a lot of money. This is kind of an affluent area. And we're up on a hill, so you can kind of see the bay in the background there. And this house, you see a couple times in the film. You see it once in the beginning when Detective Nick Curran goes to look for his prime suspect, Catherine Trammell. That's where you first meet Roxy. Are you vice? No, we're homicide. What do you want? When's the last time you saw John Boz? Is he dead? Why do you think he's dead? Well, you wouldn't be here otherwise, would you? So this house is really distinctive because of uh, the portico here. It's kind of like the front of the White House. A lot about me. You know an awful lot about me. I don't know anything that's not police business. You know I don't wear any underwear, don't you, Nick? Here I am in Petaluma, about 40 minutes north of San Francisco, and here I am in front of the Hazel Dopkins house from Basic Instinct. This is from the scene where Michael Douglas is following uh, Sharon Stone and he's following her along the Big Sur Highway, which is actually completely on the other side of San Francisco near Carmel. So it's nowhere near here, but he kind of ties the two locations together with that dramatic drive along the coast. In the movie, this is called Albion Road, but in reality, it's Liberty Street. So what you have here is you have Michael Douglas driving up this way. He's lost Catherine Trammell. He's looking for her. He's looking for her. He's going down this way. And when he's about here, he looks over and sees her um, sports car parked right there. So he turns and he parks right here. And I'm actually really surprised how little this street has changed in the last 30 years. The house is pretty much the same as it appears in the movie. There's other house right beside her that's blue. The main difference of this location is that this street where Michael Douglas turns has now been paved over in front of the church. I'm in the corner of Green and Montgomery, and this behind me is Nick Curran's apartment, Michael Douglas's character, and you see this apartment a couple times in the movie. One time, he's driving up this street here, and Sharon Stone's waiting for him on the steps, and then he goes around the corner here and parks, and they walk into the apartment. What happened? He parks around the corner, they meet up, and they walk over here, and they go upstairs. Money buys a lot of attorneys and friends. Well, I wouldn't know about that. I don't have any money, I don't have any attorneys, and Gus is my only real friend. I wasn't talking about real friends. And there's another shot at the end of the movie, at nighttime, where he comes up this street and once again, Sharon Stone is waiting for him, perhaps to kill him. <laughs> 